Good evening. I am Richard Swenson, the Marketing and Retail Manager for North Star Fireworks in East Montpelier, Vermont. Welcome to Episode 5 of the North Star Summer Pyro Series. We have another great episode lined up for you to help with your backyard displays. On this week's episode, we will share with you on how to build a successful backyard fireworks display using consumer fireworks. We will hear a tip from a North Star Fireworks Professional Pyrotechnician and present photos that were submitted by you, the viewers. We will also answer questions that were submitted over the past week and finally we'll do the weekly drawing for a prize. Welcome back and we hope that you enjoy the, this episode of the North Star Summer Pyro Series. Welcome to Photos of the Week. Each week we share photos that were submitted by viewers and followers on our social media pages. If you submit a question or photo to be shared, you are automatically entered into our drawings to win North Star Fireworks prizes, including the grand prize $1,000 fireworks package, which will be drawn at the end of the summer. This week we want to share a video submitted by Aaron Fuller of Hudson Falls, New York. It's from a night of just wanting to shoot some fireworks and have some fun. Our second photo is from Alan Ouellette. It was taken at Thunder Road International Speedway in Barrie, Vermont. And our final photo was submitted by Brian Drew of Colchester. This photo is from Burlington's July 3rd celebration at the waterfront last year. We want to thank you all for your submissions. We look forward to seeing more of your photos showing how fireworks make your events and celebrations extra special. Remember, the more photos and questions you submit, the greater chance you have to win the end of the summer grand prize, the $1,000 fireworks pack. Each week, we want to recognize one of North Star Fireworks pyrotechnicians and share their tips for working with fireworks. This week's North Star Summer Pyro Series Pro Tip of the Week comes from Mark Jenks. Mark is going on six years with North Star Fireworks and we want to welcome Mark to today's show. Hello, my name is Mark Jenks and I am one of the lead shooters for North Star Fireworks over in Barrie. I was asked to uh, talk a little bit about what got me into fireworks um, and basically that was from my construction days and military days of uh, working with explosives. Um, I did a lot of blasting in the civilian side of the world and a fair amount on the military side. Um, blasting in construction in the military is a lot like using fireworks in a similar way um, as you would for a construction job blasting or in the military, it's the end result to make sure the customer's happy and everything comes out safely like it should. It's pretty much the same with uh, fireworks. You want to make sure everything's set up correctly. It's got to be done safely, making sure that uh, all the racks are put in the correct spot so the, you know, the customer or the audience can uh, get the best perspective of uh, what we're doing. As with anything, safety in working with dynamite or working with uh, military explosive is uh, first and foremost. That's the same with uh, working with fireworks or North Star. Uh, I, I do work on the Burlington show and uh, that's two and a half days of setup. Um, a lot of uh, rounds to load, wire, and make sure that uh, the customer gets the show of their lifetime. You guys are actually watching it from uh, a distance, have the best view <laughs> on, in the house. You know, we spend one day loading the barge, the second day we're out wiring everything um, on, the water, on the breakwater and in the barge, making sure it all comes out. Then we got clean up after that. So, bottom line, as I've been saying, it's uh, safety, safety, safety. Um, if you're shooting, you know, consumer fireworks at home, something doesn't go off, leave it alone. Do not go up and stick your head over it. Let it set for all night if you have to. 
uh, but typically about 20 to 30 minutes before you go and walk up to it and uh, decide to look at it or try to relight it. It's not worth it for uh, one little surprise for anybody to get injured, um, very gravely injured possibly. So anyways, uh, enjoy our shows. I hope you enjoy uh, this summer and uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Mark, for this week's pro tips. If you want to be on the North Star Summer Pyro Series, reach out and submit a three to six minute video. Whether you are a North Star Pyro technician or a consumer who wants to share an experience you've had with North Star Fireworks on your displays or a backyard event, we'd love to hear from you. For this week's topic of events, we will share some tips on how to set up a successful backyard fireworks display. We'll also show you a simple layout for your show using the various consumer fireworks you can purchase from our retail stores. The first step is always remembering safety. Safety for yourself, safety for your crowd, your pets, and other people's property. Just like planning your party or celebration, putting on a great backyard fireworks display takes some proper planning and time also to assure the safety of all. We talked in previous episodes about the precautions pyrotechnicians should take, and that included a sober, responsible adult with proper attire. Proper attire includes a helmet, goggles, closed toe shoes or boots, and a fireproof jacket so that you don't get burned by debris. Also, always think of safety of your spectators. Keep your fireworks display and spectators at a safe distance from each other. Create a safety zone so that young children don't run over in the middle of your show where they can be put into harm's way. Some Vermont towns require permits. Always check with your local authorities, such as your town office or fire department, before having a display. Avoid discharging fireworks near municipal areas homes, or dry areas that potentially could cause fires. The second step to making your show a success is having a safe layout. Taking the time to plan your layout is very important for the safety of your audience, yourself, and will provide the best and most enjoyable view for your spectators. Now let's talk about how to set up your consumer fireworks display. When laying out your display, you'll want to have two rows of fireworks set vertically from where your spectators will be. Start by putting smaller fireworks, such as your 200 gram repeater cakes, fountains, and or rockets in front. In the second row, you'll have fireworks like your 500 gram repeater cakes and mortars. Rows should be approximately 25 to 50 feet apart from each other. Have you ever been to a municipal show where a one minute warning shot is discharged? The pyros are simply grabbing your attention to let you know they are about to begin. Just like the pros do, you will want to share with a smaller 200 gram cake or single mortar shell to get your audience attention and make them get outside. Once you have everyone's attention, let the show begin. Start with firing off both rows at the same time, one item at a time as this will add a variety of low and high firework items. The artillery shells, such as the Excaliburs, should be fired off randomly throughout the show while the repeater cakes are going off. To add that extra wow, fire off more artillery shells as you near the end of a row. Having multiple pyrotechnicians helping you will make the firing of the fireworks easier and allow you to time your fireworks. It will also be safer so that you're not rushing to get to the next firework. Now let's talk about the finale. As let's face it, that's what everyone loves and looks forward to because there's a lot of fireworks going off at one time. Have a section of your show designated for your finale outside of your rows. Especially for your finale, having multiple pyrotechnicians helping will allow you to shoot several artillery shells and your repeater cakes all off all at once so that you have your ultimate grand finale. Basically you want to load up your finale with a ton of sparkles, bright colors, 
and of course those big booms. To keep your finale success, avoid firing off any missed items at the end as you're now the fireworks fan. We don't want them thinking that the show is still going on. You do not want to trick them. And finally, as we heard from our pro Randy Hunt last week, set up your finale first. So if you run out of time, your finale won't suffer. That's the last impression people will have of your show. So you don't so you do want it to make you so you want to make it a good one. The last tip to make sure your fireworks display is successful for your spectators and will make you the true backyard hero is to remember this. Keep the sky full or at minimum keep at least some kind of firework in the air at all times during your show to keep your spectators attention. Avoid dead air as we call it in the fireworks industry. If you have dead air spectators may think your show is over or will simply lose some interest in, in it. Having two to four pyrotechnicians will help you always keep something in the air, just like Northstar has in our professional displays. Whoever is in charge is called the lead shooter. For, for most backyard displays, people tend to keep shows 10 to 15 minutes, unless you have enough fireworks to keep the show going. Any longer than that will have your spectators starting to squirm and head back into their party. Remember, start small and end big. After your cake, last cake or artillery shell goes off in your finale, sit back with your pyrotechnicians and listen to the hoots and hollers from your audience and enjoy knowing that you have become the true backyard hero to your event. Let's go into this week's questions submitted by you, the viewers. We have three we're going to answer today. The first one, when are you opening back up? Well, right now we are open by appointment only so that we can limit the number of people in the store at this time. If you wish to make an appointment, call our main office at 802-229-9690 and leave a message and a North Star Fireworks representative will return your call right away. It's still unknown when we can open fully, depending on when the stay at home order is lifted. We're hoping to open Monday, May 18th though, and again that's pending on the state's orders. In the coming weeks, we also plan to put a catalog on our website and social media pages so that you can look at the fireworks products and decide what you would like. There will be an order form on the back of that catalog, which you will be able to use to submit email orders to us as well. Our second question is, what is the largest consumer firework and how much does it cost? The largest consumer firework is a consumer can purchase is 500 gram multi-shot repeater cake. 500 grams is the maximum amount of black powder that can be packed into a multi-shot multi repeater cake. The largest mortar someone can buy is 60 grams of black powder packed into a single artillery shell. The world's number one artillery shell Excalibur has 60 grams of black powder in the shells. And to answer the question on how much does it cost, cost of these fireworks can vary depending on the current North Star promotion that is running at that time. We encourage people to keep us to date up to we encourage people to keep up to date with North Star Fireworks by checking out our website as well as our social media pages regularly. Our next, our final question is I love fireworks and I love to work with them. Is North Star Fireworks hiring? Fireworks are a joy to work with. North Star is always looking for seasonal help within the consumer sh showrooms as well as on the display side. With proper training and, professional, and a professional attitude, the opportunity may be for you. Contact us if you are interested in working with North Star. To work with North Star Fireworks, all employees must be 18 years of age or older by Vermont state and federal laws. 
Thank you for this week's questions. Do you have a burning question about fireworks? Go ahead and click in the comment section below right now and send us your questions. We will answer them in next week's episode. Also, remember that submitting a question enters you into the drawing to win North Star Fireworks prizes. Speaking of prizes, at the end of each episode, North Star wants to thank our fellow pyros who light up the skies with their fireworks. We love to see the shows you have put on and which ones you've attended. As a thanks for participating in our summer pyro series and submitting photos, videos, or questions, you are eligible to win a North Star Fireworks Prize in this raffle. We do this each episode, so please continue to submit your photos and questions. If your name is picked, North Star will reach out to you via Facebook Messenger to get your information so we can send you your North Star Fireworks gift. If your gift is a fireworks item, we will arrange to meet you at one of our two locations to get that to you. So let's begin with this week's drawing. This week's drawing is Robert Brown. Robert, thank you for submitting your, your videos and all those who participated. Remember to submit your questions, videos, and photos to be entered into the drawing. This week's winner was Robert Brown. Thank you for joining us on this week's North Star Summer Pyro Series. Congratulations again to our prize winner, Robert. And thank you to Mark Jen Jenks and our, our pyro professionals for providing us their expertise. We want to remind you that if you wish to visit us, visit us and our showrooms to purchase fireworks, you can do so by appointment only at this time. Call our main office at 802-229-9690 and if you have to leave a message, a North Star Fireworks representative will contact you to set up a time to have you visit us. Thank you for watching and don't forget to join us next week on the North Star Summer Pyro Series. And remember this, Fireworks can add that something extra to your event, as long as you're being safe. See you next week, Pyros.